Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 Assistance Guide to video with me, Mr. CLEP. I'm back at it again on my favourite cornfield, although this has been replowed, repurposed, and replanted since the last test I did. What am I testing? Silage. Chaffing corn for silage. When is the best time to do it? I've had a lot of questions on this and a lot of people asking is it best to do it in its final growth stage when it's green or do you wait till it's ready to harvest when it's drier and crisper and you know do you get a better yield now or later? That's what I'm going to be testing. The field is ploughed, limed, two fertiliser states, it's on maximum, it should be fine. It's in its final growth stage. If we have a look on the map, zoom in on field 19 and then scroll across to growth. It's on dark green, which is its final growth stage, so we should be able to harvest it now. Then the next test is going to be to let it go into its ready to harvest stage and we'll run the test again. Before I do that, I was asked a question after my last episode about the header. And the question was, with the header so badly worn, and weirdly enough, I came out of the game when I came back in to do this, it had dropped down to zero. If I go across here, it's up there on red, it says zero. If you repair it, does it get repainted? Well, we'll t t test that as well. It's a bit of a double whammy. So, let's repair it. 750, oh, it's still on dollars, but it's all right. Unless I go back to it, it does. It gets repainted and repurposed. Not bad at all. So, there we go. Whoever it was that asked that question, um, there's your answer. It does get repainted. Looks as good as new. I've put a bunker silo in just over there. I've got a funny feeling we're going to need it. So, I have got the Crone Big X 580, the modded one that came over from 17, simply because it will hook up to trailers, whereas the uh, Big X 1180 won't at the moment. I'm not too sure why. I've got the Annaberger field liner, which is 55,000 litres. I thought I'd use that rather than the Crone one, which is 56, so it's only a 1,000 litres different, uh, simply because this is a new piece of kit. And I thought it'd be good to give it a go. What I have done though, I've got the larger header. I've got the Chrome Big X 1180. I keep saying 1180. And I'm suddenly doubting myself. It is 1180, yeah. Um, I've got the bigger header um, from the 1180. So if we go under Forage Harvester Headers, I have got the X Collect 900 3 rather than the Easy Collect 600 2. So it's a nine meter header rather than a six. That's the only difference. I just thought it'd be quicker to do the harvest doing that. So what we'll do is we'll get the pipe out. We'll open the header. Now when you're using the forage harvester, you can set a worker on the forage harvester and you can drive alongside with the trailer if you want to do that. I know the workers aren't particularly solid at the moment. There are still some issues. Now, the thing about it is, is it's actually going to work on this ready harvest stage. It is fantastic. So we are now cutting the corn, chaffing it with the forage harvester, and the chaff is going into the back here. If you're new to this whole process, I will then take that chaff and put it into the bunker silo, and then when it's covered, the chaff gets fermented into silage. So they always say, people refer to it as doing a silage harvest on corn, you're chaffing it, you're chaffing the corn and it basically just cross cuts the whole lot rather than taking the crop itself, it takes it in, chops it, blends it, you know and then throws it all out the back as this lovely mulchy, mulchy stuff. Now bearing in mind I'm already at 12,000 litres, 13,000 litres and climbing. Wow, this is um, high yield stuff. I'm going to need to unload this probably couple of times I reckon to clear this field well um, I'm gonna do the whole field I know people said to me on other ones I've done why didn't you do half a field one way and half a field another trying to find where half a field is can get tricky trying to you know so it's just easy to do the whole field it's a fairer test um, this doesn't like tone too much with this trailer on the back it's gonna be a bit scrappy I'm just going to go down this row next. It doesn't really matter, um, and I'll just I'll do the whole field. 
So I'll see you in a minute when the whole field's done. We'll check and see what's in the bunker silo. I'll tip it all in there. Um, that will be our gauge. And then the next test will be, like I say, let it run through to its ready to harvest stage, run it again, and see do we get a better yield then or now. So, it's all going rather well actually. I do like having the wider header on that. Makes life a lot quicker and easier. You don't end up wasting seven hours doing something, yeah? <laughs> I wasn't complaining about that. It was a kind of tongue-in-cheek, you know. Anyway, um, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're done. Field's cleared. I was astounded how much I got off that field. Um, incredible. We've got 227,111 litres. That's crazy. Now, I haven't compacted it really, just where I've been driving over, bringing it in, and it looks a bit of a mess. But um, if you're, again, if you're new to all this, what you do is go over this with vehicles, levelers, compactors, there's all different ways of doing it. Compact it to 100% then you blanket it which means it gets covered then it takes a while and it ferments to 100% fermented then you unblanket it and you've got silage um, so that's how you make it unless you make silage bales of course which is the other way of doing it so 227 111 litres is what we got from the green corn ready near not not quite ready to harvest uh, so what we'll do next is skip forward we'll do the test again on ready to harvest and uh, see if we get more or less than that. I'm now incredibly curious. I shall see you in a moment. Right, the crop is ready to harvest. Let's see if we make a difference. Um, something worth pointing out. While I was doing the previous harvest, and I meant to mention it at the end of the last clip, what used to happen, and I'm, I apologise massively if I'm wrong on this, I'm pretty sure I'm not, I did a lot of silage harvesting um, on FS17 that when the trailer filled up if you weren't paying attention <laughs> as I often wasn't and you carried on harvesting nothing else came out of the pipe so it would carry on cutting the crop and nothing else would come out and you'd effectively lose that because you weren't paying attention what I did notice I did that a couple of times on the previous harvest and panicked only overran by a couple of meters and suddenly thought oh no i can't believe it when i went to unload into the bunker silo as the trailer started to unload a load of chaff came out of the pipe into the trailer so i'm assuming on 19 this is actually storing a little bit so if you do overrun a little bit it kept it in there um if it does it again on this this time round, i'll i'll video it um i'll record it so Let's get it going. I just thought it was uh, yeah interesting. I didn't expect it. So away we go again. Cruise control. Let's see how we get on. Why? Mm, yeah, I don't know. See, this is another one of those ones again where I, I will probably get comments from people saying it was always this way, it always has been this way and my argument is the same back it may well be the case it may well be that it was always like this on the 17 that if you did it when it was green you got the same yield as you did when it was ready to harvest or vice versa it might be the yield was better or worse or i don't know um but it's a new version of the game it may well have changed that's why i'm testing it you know th this video has probably been done before on fs17 by somebody else um but I'm just want to. I just want to test it out. You know, if if for no other reason than to satisfy my own curiosity, um, that's not bad. Twenty, nearly twenty-two thousand liters for the first row, and I can't remember for life me what I did in the last one on the first row. If it was twenty-two thousand liters, then I think we're on for a similar result. Uh, so I'm not sure. We'll see. I will see you in a bit. And it will be a bit. And like I say, if this does overrun, I'll record that and I'll show you what I mean when I unload it. Um, I'm sh I'm pretty sure it didn't do it before in, in, on any of the other versions. Blimey, I'm struggling to talk today. Uh, yeah, see in a little bit. So this is going to be a little bit of a double whammy of a test here. Only because I thought I'd jump back in because I said I was going to show this. When it gets to 55,000 litres... 
it will stop coming out of the pipe. And if I overrun a little bit, there's that panic you think, I've lost crop. So now, it's not coming out anymore and I'm still harvesting. And you think, oh no, you, you forget, you don't notice, whatever the reason. And you panic and you think, well, that's it. I've lost that. And that's what I was fascinated by. But when I come to unload now, as I start to unload, you'll notice a load comes out the pipe, which I've never come across before. Um, and then what I'll do is we'll check to see, because it should be 55,000 litres if it's the old way. If it's the new way, I'm going to get more than 55,000 litres in here. You watch the pipe. See? It's not a huge amount, but it is doing it, which I have never noticed before. I'm just going to put it all in one big lump this time rather than drive up and down. And... Right, so what will happen now is if I just put this menu on 55,492 so it did go a little bit over and it did store it in the uh, in the harvester. Oh, there you go. I, just, I thought I'd test it. I wasn't sure. Uh, it's an interesting development. So if you do panic, you've missed bits, it may well be that it's stored in your harvester. So we're done. Test 2 complete. It's an interesting result. It's mm, There's a couple of trains of thought on this, and I'll explain in a second. We've got 227,698. On the previous one we had 227,111. So we're looking at a difference of about... 600 litres over that entire field which is to my mind negligible it's a tiny little bit more which the problem with that is it leaves it open to uh, potentially another test now I did the test on the ready to harvest states and proved that with doing a normal crop the ready to harvest states, the, the uh, yellow, orange and sort of deeper darker orange made no difference at all on yield. There is a tiny little bit of improvement there, 500 litres. It's not a lot. 600, whatever it worked out at. So I'm thinking there are some advantages to getting your crop off the field in its green state because it means you can repurpose the field quicker, you haven't got to wait for another growth stage, you can get it um, chaffed and off the field quickly. If you wait, potentially you get a tiny little bit more, but here's my worry now, is that on the ready to harvest states on the right hand side, because it went from dark green to yellow and there was a tiny improvement, if that harvest state goes from yellow to orange will there be a little bit more improvement still so I may need to run another test yeah I'm going to I'm going to run it again and have it I'm going to harvest it when it's on its orange ready to harvest state if we get the same yield then that makes no difference whatsoever if we get a slightly improved yield then we'll know that the ready to harvest states are going to make a difference on chaffing for silage I didn't want to have to do a third test, but I'm going to have to, otherwise I won't be satisfied with that result. Um, but there you go. It depends. If you're happy at this point to say, you know what, I'm going to do it in green stage because it really doesn't make very much difference whatsoever, then absolutely go for it. But just for my peace of mind, I'm going to do a third test. I'm going to see you in a minute just to make absolutely certain. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> the field is on ready to harvest the middle state orange um, let's go let's see is there going to be a difference who knows who knows well there we go third test done I have had it turned off the whole time, so I don't know what's in here. Help window on. 
228,349. The last one was 227,698. That's an increase of 600 litres. About that, 600, 650. Yeah. Right, so there is an increase from the first green stage, 227,111. We then did the next ready to harvest, and it went up by about 500, nearly 600 litres. Then we've gone on to the next ready to harvest stage, and it's gone up another 600, 650 litres. Potentially, if you take it to the next ready to harvest stage, the dark orange, you might go up another 600. In total, across that entire field, that would be an increase over those ready to harvest stages of about 1800 litres, 1800 litres. Not even 2000 litres across the entire field. My advice for what is worth if you can harvest in the green stage, harvest. Do it then. Because to get to that third ready to harvest stage, we've had to go through three more growth cycles. It's had to go from green to ready to harvest, ready to harvest to the second ready to harvest, and then to the third ready to harvest. If you did it when it's green, replant in the time it's taken me to gain potentially 1,800 litres, I could have an entire new harvest, which would be another 228 or 227,000 litres. So if you can harvest it when it's green, do it when it's green. But the good thing about it is, if you miss the green stage and it goes into the next one, you're not going to lose anything. Um, so there you go. It's a result. It's, it's not what I was expecting. I honestly thought you'd get more in the green stage. We've got fractionally more in the other two stages, but not enough for it to make a massive difference. Um, so there you go. Another result. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.